Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Joining us now live from Levin TV studio is the former chief of staff to Attorney General Edwin Meese, a constitutional lawyer and radio talk show host, the great one Mark Levin from his hidden bunker. Mark, thank you very much for joining us this morning. On your Thursday evening radio broadcast, you laid out a devastating case about executive overreach of the Obama administration, which many believe metamorphosized itself to tweets that President Trump sent out on Saturday morning accusing potential wiretapping in Trump Tower. Uh, we want to give you a case here this morning to lay out what you know, what you know about it, and the evidence you have for the potential executive overreach of the Obama administration. Well, pleasure to be here. The evidence is overwhelming. This is not about President Trump's tweeting. This is about the Obama administration's spying. And the question isn't whether it's spied. We know they went to the FISA court twice. The question is, who did they spy on? The extent of the spying. That is, the Trump campaign, the Trump transition, Trump surrogates. And I want to walk you through this, the American people. Exhibit one, exhibit one. This is all public. Head Street, two separate sources with links to the counterintelligence community have confirmed that the FBI sought and was granted a Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act court. This is spying uh, in October, giving counterintelligence permission to examine the activity of, quote, U.S. persons in Donald Trump's campaign with ties to Russia. Let me go on. This isn't me. They say the first FISA request, sources say, name Trump, was denied back in June, denied by the court. Mm -hmm. But the second was drawn more narrowly and was granted in October after evidence was presented of a server possibly related to the Trump campaign and its alleged links to two banks. Now, sources suggest that a FISA warrant was granted to look at the full content of emails and other related documents that may concern U.S. persons. Now, I know people are hung up with Trump's word wiretapping. Well, how'd they get access to this server information? Does it really matter if it was wiretapping, electronic surveillance, or whatever it was? Exhibit 2, The Guardian, a well-known right-wing British paper. Here it is. Uh, quote, The Guardian has learned the FBI applied for a warrant from the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court over the summer in order to monitor four members of the Trump team suspected of irregular contacts with Russian officials. Keep in mind, this is during a presidential election. The sitting president, the incumbent party, is now investigating the presidential candidate of the Republican Party and his campaign, to some extent. The FISA court turned down the application asking FBI counterintelligence investigators to narrow its focus. According to one report, the FBI was finally granted a warrant in October. Exhibit three, McClatchy, another well-known right-wing newspaper. <laughs> Here they have the agencies. Headline, FBI, five other agencies, five other Obama administration agencies pro possible covert Kremlin aid to Trump. The FBI and five other law enforcement intelligence agencies have collaborated for months in an investigation into Russian attempts to influence the November election, including whether money from Kremlin uh, covertly aided presidential-elect Donald Trump. Two people familiar with the matter said the agencies involved in the inquiry are the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, the Justice Department, the Treasury Department's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, and representatives of the director of the National Intelligence. Are you telling me Barack Obama didn't know what was Mark, going on in six go, agencies? As you hold go on, on hold why, on, how are hold you on. Do, okay, keep going. I'm not done. I need to make the case. <laughs> because the media seems to be confused about their own reporting. New York Times, another well-known liberal outlet, intercepted Russian communications part of inquiry into Trump Associates, January 19. The FBI is leading the investigations aided by the NSA, the CIA, Treasury Department's Financial Crimes Unit. The investigators have accelerated their efforts in recent weeks, but have found no exclusive, uh, conclusive evidence of wrongdoing. Listen to this. One official said intelligence reports based on some of the wiretap communications have been provided to the White House. This is the New York Times, Another my right -wing exhibit outlet. four. Another right-wing outlet, Let's yeah. continue. <laughs> New York Times again. NSA gets more latitude to share intercepted communications. In the final days of the Obama administration, uh, the administration has expanded the power of the NSA to share globally intercepted personal communications with the government's 16 other intelligence agencies before applying privacy protections. Now, why would they do this on the way out the door? Well, March 1, Exhibit 6, 
Obama administration rushed to preserve intelligence of Russian election hacking. In the Obama administration's last days, listen to this, some White House officials scrambled to spread information about Russian efforts to undermine the presidential election and about possible contacts between associates of President-elect Trump and Russians across the government. I'm not done. <laughs> Exhibit 7, New York Times. Flynn is said to have talked to Russians about sanctions. Trump took office. Well, where'd they get this information? Well, Mark, you know, the FISA court, they're always monitoring the, uh, the uh, Russian ambassador. And so how do we know that? Maybe they are, maybe they're not. But there's an awful lot of other activity. Sure. Here we have Washington Post. One more. Washington Post, March 2nd. U.S. investigators have examined contacts Attorney General Sessions had with Russian officials during the time he was advising Donald Trump's campaign. The focus of the U.S. counterintelligence investigation has been on communication between Trump campaign officials mm -hmm. and Russia. Listen to this. The inquiry involving Sessions is examining his contacts while serving as Trump's foreign policy advisor in the spring and summer of 2016. This has been going on for a year well, Mark, now. As you do on your yeah. radio program, you lay out a devastating case based on public documents, as you point out, and not right-wing uh, sources, but m mainstream left-stream sources. How confident are you that this new this investigation, which was on Russian so-called Russian hacking, but now the White House says this morning will be broadened to looking into executive overreach, how confident Look, are you they clear. will find something there? I don't know, but let me, they already found something. The issue isn't whether the Obama administration spied on the Trump campaign or transition or certain of its surrogates. The issue is the extent of it. Mm -hmm. They went into court a second time. They were so aggressive. They waited four or five months. They go back in October, weeks before the general election. They narrow their request. All of a sudden, we have leaks coming out on Flynn. Then we have a, oh, a horrible meeting that took place between Sessions and so forth. And I'm telling you, as a former chief of staff to an attorney general of the United States, in the Reagan administration, these are police state tactics. Now, what did Barack Obama know? He knew everything I just read to you apart, apart from one or two articles. You know how I know? It's in the newspapers. It's right there. So Barack Obama not only knew this, but he gets a daily intelligence briefing. And let me tell you something about daily intelligence briefings. If your attorney general and your FBI is going to the FISA court yep. to get a warrant to investigate aspects of an opposition party in the middle of a general election campaign. How much you want to bet the president of the United States knew that? I don't want Read to bet his you opinion. on that. Uh, Mark, we've got, we were about to hit a hard break. Is there any way you could stick around for one more minute and ask you one more question on this? That's fine. You got it. All right, more with Mark Levin on Fox & Friends right on the, around the corner.